Hey guys, James here today, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Create a World. We're obviously back in the school, finishing off this little yard that we were working on before. The the rugby field, I believe it was, that we were talking about. Um, yeah, so I'm painting in all the lines right now. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. It's actually a pretty interesting technique. Um, though, later on, I, I figured I probably could have just used a little uh, little fence that... Um, I think it's called like the fee 5 fo fence or something similar to that, um, which probably would have worked just as well, if not better, because it would have been easier. But anyways, this is, this is an interesting way to do it uh, with terrain paints, which um, used to be very popular to do it back in The Sims 2, uh, to sort of make like um, painted lines and stuff on terrain. Anyways, that's just kind of an old school technique I, I used in this for some reason, because I didn't think about doing it the the easier way. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I did it like this. I'm just painting in all the lines. So this episode, we're going to be finishing off this sort of school area, and we're going to be doing a bunch of the other rabbit hole lots as well. Um, because what I what I ended up doing was I, I got all the rabbit hole lots in place uh, where they needed to be, and then I went back and worked on the world around them and sort of fixed it up where it needed to be and how it needed to be. So I, I just did all the, these kind of lots first so I knew where everything would kind of sit and how it all fit in and how it all sort of flow and work together. Um, and yeah, so I mean, doing these lines was interesting. Anyway, it, it was a, it was a nice little break as well from doing the world to sort of start working on some lots as well. Um, so just clearing up a few questions that I got on the, the previous episode of this was, um, first of all, will it be free? Of course it'll be free. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to sell Sims content anyways. Although Sims resource did that for, anyways, let's not get into that. Um, <laughs> no, yes, it will be free, entirely free. All my stuff is free for download. There is no cost. The only thing I ask is that you disable ad block on my website and on my videos if you can, because it really helps, um, to have ad views on my content because it will support me and it, it helps a lot. So that would be appreciative. Of course, you don't have to, you can leave ad block on if you want. I'm not going to, I mean, it's not nothing I can do to force you anyways. Um, it's just, it's out of the kindness of your own heart. And the only way I can make you turn off ad block is by guilting you into it. Anyways, let, let's stop talking about that. That's not even related. Anyways, so yes, it will be free. Uh, the world itself is going to be base game only. Uh, so all the rabbit holes and, and the, the world as you download it will be base game. Uh, the only lots that will come with this world will be the rabbit hole lots. Uh, everything after that will be separate lots that you put into your game afterwards. However, I haven't fleshed this out entirely, but when I do have enough lots to fill the world, that's probably when I will release a full version that has completed lots, if that makes sense. So um, initially at the end of this week, I will release a world. It won't have any houses or community lots other than the rabbit hole lot. So we'll have all the rabbit hole lots, but there won't be other community lots. So there won't be any parks yet. There won't be any, um, I guess, museums, libraries, that kind of stuff. Uh, it will just pu purely be rabbit hole lots. Um, the other stuff will come later as time progresses. We will work on that and that will, yeah, that will develop as we move forward. Um, and yeah, probably at the end of that, at the end of when I've got all the houses sort of put together and the community lots and all that kind of stuff, I will release a fully packaged world that comes with all the houses then. So yeah, initially the world will just be sort of mainly blank uh, in terms of lots. Uh, so it's all free for building, which is another thing I want to talk about now. Um, this is an idea I've sort of been playing around with in my head, and uh, I think it could work pretty well if I can get it to work. Um, I'm going to have to work on it this week to see if I can figure it out. But the idea I was thinking is I would, um, on my website, I would have like, so basically the idea is you guys can build lots for the world. Um, and then it would kind of be like, so you, you upload it to the Sims three exchange and then you link your download, uh, on my website. I mean, it, it kind of sounds confusing explaining this, but it will make sense when it's out of my mind and actually on my website. So what you do, you'd go to like a submit page, and you'd say, this house is for lot number 32, for example, whatever that lot may be. You've built this house specifically for lot 32. So you'd submit it. You'd say, this is for lot 32. And here's the link to the download on the Sims 3 Exchange. So you'd submit it and you'd go. And then it would be added to sort of a database of lots that you could download for the world. So then people who download the blank world could go to my website and find um, a whole list of lots that they could put in their world for specific uh, places around the world. So it's kind of like a DIY sort of download lots, put it together kind of thing. I think it'd be kind of cool. Again, I haven't fleshed out the entire details of it, but, but certainly give me your feedback on that idea and what you think about it. And if you have any other suggestions, that'd be cool. Um, 
But don't get me wrong, I will be building lots for this world as well, but I would love to see you guys sort of getting involved with this world and sort of making this much more of a collaborative process than just uh, one-sided on my part. So I thought that it could be a really cool idea to get all of you guys involved in it and have sort of more of a community basis around it. And I thought that could be a lot of fun. Uh, so tell me what you think about that idea, because I thought it was a pretty good idea, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, not, to, not to gloat or anything, but I thought it was a pretty great idea. <laughs> Um, anyway, so it's putting these pathways in around the school, matching it to the uh, sort of sidewalk texture. Uh, so it kind of like matches up with the actual pavements everywhere. Yeah, so as you can see, I, I made those sort of bleachers there that were like they're purely decorative, of course. Sims can't actually sit on it. Unless you put chairs on it, you could put a bunch of seats there and the Sims could sit down on there. And I added a bunch of flags around the sort of rugby field here. Yeah, so it's kind of just like a little sporting oval. That's where the stadium is in the world. So that is the stadium. Um, and then obviously the school is on the same lot. I thought it was a pretty cool idea, something different anyways that I, again, haven't done before. And I haven't really seen that being done before, like uh, specifically like a rugby pitch kind of thing done. So it was, it was definitely something different and something new for me to do. Um, I will probably, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go back to this lot actually. Uh, back to a few of these rabbit hole lots to sort of polish them off before the final release. Um, the, I, like I said, I have finished the world up to the point where I'm going to release it with all the rabbit holes, but um, there's definitely some polishing I want to do. And like I said last episode as well, I will want you all to provide feedback on the world if you download it. Because if you download it and you come across issues or you think, oh, this could be better if you did it this way, um, then certainly let me know. Of course, it will be just kind of tweaks here and there. It won't be like, oh, this whole island sucks, rebuild it. Like, no, that, that's a suggestion that's not helpful. It could be something like, oh, if you move I don't know, this tree two squares over to the right, it would make a sim be able to walk through there or something like that. I don't know. Just kind of things that I might have overlooked because doing a world is actually a massive task, to, especially to do by yourself. And I honestly don't know. There's some people in the community that, that do this regularly. They build entire worlds and I commend them to, to like, I commend them seriously because building a world is such a task. And this is a small world. This is a tiny world. And it was hard. And it took a long time. And, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's so much fun to sort of play around and get your, get your own ideas, like, out into, like, the game and see what it looks like if you were to do your own sort of thing. Uh, but here's a lot where I sort of combine a whole bunch of rabbit holes together. Because I, I haven't actually shown you a, a completed picture of the world yet. And I'm not going to until the end of the week, so... That'll be a little bit of a surprise, but this lot is, I really do like this lot. This is kind of like, I guess, a little plaza, I, I guess you could call it. It's a little plaza lot that has sort of like the bookstore, the grocery, the bistro, uh, the like the little business center there, and the day spa. So it's like an awesome sort of little plaza area, which I thought was pretty cool. And, and I think it actually does turn out really nice in the end. Uh, and then next door on, on another lot is the theater. Because I was going to put the theater on this lot, but it was too big and it just seemed a bit silly um, to put it there because it didn't really fit. Um, and then the town hall is just over a little bit as well. Uh, but you will see me start to sort of detail this area. It's not just going to remain blank like that. I do some uh, sort of fountains and seating and little chairs outside of the bistro and sort of give it all these decorations and everything to make it look like a proper, like, plaza i guess not something just, just boring and blank nice big fountain in the center thought that was very very appropriate to sort of chuck that right in there um it it seemed appropriate i don't know i know i just said that but um i don't know i thought it was a really cool idea and i put those hedges around i had to move the fountain out of the way because uh, i found that the hedges would go really nicely around the fountain like perfectly and the fountain could just sit right in the center and it seemed to work just just fine um and then i actually put the i used a fountain tool and uh sort of put more water in there. I was going to chuck those trees in there, but I kind of played around with it a bit. So I wasn't sure at first what I was going to do with it. Um, but anyways, um, like I said, at the moment, this isn't entire. I guess, well, it is technically create a world because this is part of the creating the world, but um, it's kind of more of a, a speed build, the house building kind of thing at the moment. Well, it's obviously not a house, but you know what I mean. Um, but we will obviously, uh, as the episodes progress, jump back into editing the world. Because as you can see, there's tons more to do on the world. I still do a lot of terrain painting and terraforming and uh, object placing trees, uh, all that kind of stuff. There's tons to do, tons of lots. I also do a fairly major kind of redesign to part of the island, which is pretty interesting when it comes about. And you will see that sort of crop up in the uh, latter episodes that are coming out shortly. Uh, don't forget there's one a day for this week if you are watching this on the day of release. If you're watching this after release, there's probably already episodes out after this. 
So yes, that's a good thing. Uh, checking in a bunch of benches around here, around lots of places to sit down because if you're going there to shop and you wanted to sit down, you can. So that's always a handy thing to to have <laughs> a handy thing to have to sit down um and at this point i was like it's still looking a bit bland i definitely needed to put in some gre more greenery in there because it was just a bit blank and it didn't really sort of show off it didn't feel like how i thought it should feel as a sort of a community plaza as you can see i'm sort of looking through items trying to find something that would fit and i just couldn't find the right thing that i wanted to put in there i was looking and i was looking and i was looking but Alas, no luck. Uh, but then eventually I obviously decide to put some trees in. Uh, eventually. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that little sort of uh, menu board there for the beast ray, which I thought was pretty cool. And uh, yes, all these lots here as well are going to be base game compatible, presuming that you have your game fully updated. As long as your game is fully up to date, this should work on base game. This world, 99% sure is base game. Um, so th that I'm really happy with. Um, but of course, uh, like I said, I will be doing other lots. Um, uh, separately to this world so the lots will probably require other expansions and that kind of stuff so there'll be a lot of variety and especially if we get this whole community build thing going which i think could be a really fun idea then people um you guys could submit like festival lots or you could submit like um, a fire station for ambitions or or that you know that kind of stuff or like um bars or nightclubs um from certain expansions so we could have a whole array of lots like a whole library of lots that we could um that people could choose from, uh, depending on what expansions they have. So it could be a real sort of um, customized world that really would be available for all expansion packs. I mean, given that it is a smaller world, it, it's going to be it's going to be a bit more cramped and um, and that kind of stuff. But uh, I would love. <laughs> I, I might regret saying this, but I would love to do a bigger world in The Sims 3 and really sort of get a full-on community sort of project going uh, where we sort of build the world and then we get a whole bunch of you guys involved building the lots and making it a real sort of build-it-yourself like kind of world where you download the lots you want. I don't know. It, it, I, I think that's just such an awesome idea. I think it could just be amazing, but f for now, let's let's back off that and let's focus on this world because we don't want another one year gap between episodes. So let's let's not get ahead of ourselves, and let's also not forget that The Sims Four is coming out this year. So we really don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. Uh, right now, we're working on the military base and the police station. I've put these two lots, uh, these two rabbit holes, on the same lot because I felt that they fit together. Um, because that's something I've been doing in this world. Because like I said, it's such a small island. Uh, some of the, the rabbit holes really do have to go on the same lot together. And I felt a police station and a military base are both law enforcement. Or, well, law enforcement is police station. And then obviously military is military. But they're both, um, I guess, law related. Uh, so I felt that they went together on the same lot pretty well. Uh, it seemed to make sense to me in my mind anyways. And then obviously we had the school and the, the stadium together. And then just before with the plaza, we had all those kind of shop um, type uh, locations and venues and that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I'm doing now. I'm doing this. I do kind of like a um, little sort of, it's kind of like a military training area there, I think is what I'm sort of going for here. But of course we will see more, more of it next episode uh, as we get fully stuck into it. And more in depth. Um, but yeah. So I think, how many episodes are there after this one? There's four more after this one until the world is uh, up to the point where it's actually complete, ready for a release. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm really excited to, I, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. And I, I am super excited about the whole like um, community aspect of it. I really do want to get that sort of. Uh, I don't know. I, I keep droning on about this sort of community build thing where you guys build lots for the worlds and it's sort of like a directory on the site where you can go, uh, I want to, uh, I want to download a lot uh, specifically for this location in the world. Like, I think it could be so cool. I just think it could work really well if, if, if it's done right. Um, but I, w I sincerely would love your feedback on that uh, aspect. And if you have any questions about the world as well, I will answer them in the next episode. Um, so if, if like like this time I answered the world will be free and all that kind of stuff. If you have any questions uh, specifically, I will answer them next time as best as I can in the next episode. Uh, right now we're actually moving on to the graveyard. Uh, here it's a small little graveyard. Uh, I didn't forget to put one in. Don't worry, it is there, ready to go. But we will get more, more of this uh, in the next episode. Uh, 
Yeah, so we'll, we'll complete this next episode, I'm pretty sure, because we're definitely gonna, not going to finish it now. But thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Create a World. Uh, be sure to check back tomorrow for the next part. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this, and I hope uh, you enjoy the world when it finally releases. Thanks.